Good morning, people. Here we go. This is the first day of a brand new trip, brand new Texas trip. We back on the road. It's like 5 a.m. right now. Line bike on the way to the airport. I feel like I'm missing something, but I think I've got everything: passport, power bank, laptop, Woo. camera, mic. We we're good to go. Come on, we got this. No suitcase. So it's a pretty easy cycle to the train station to get the train to the airport. But I'm gonna stop recording now anyway and I'll film when I get to the next stop. Because you guys know I can't ride some bikes and film with my phone very easily. This is a bit empty in the full street station right now. Can we make the train? Fingers crossed. Might not make it. I just absolutely rushed to the train station. As you can see, it's not even open yet. And I got my train times wrong. So yeah, we're here for another 20 minutes before the train takes off, but at least I'm on time. I have so much time that I can actually go and get a coffee or a drink and still be on time. So that's what we're doing right now. By the way, we are so back, baby. iPhone, mic attached, backpack. On the way to Texas, we are so back with the vlogs. Let's go, <laughs> come on. The mic makes so much difference, right? It's just unreal. What a setup. And here we go, guys. What a way to start it off, eh? All right, breakfast mains. And just to show you guys from, from before, you can't get a sausage muffin on its own, look. You have to get a sausage and egg muffin, then take the egg off. Flat white, here we go, you guys know. Can't have a sausage on its own, so you take the egg off. Guys, come on, come on. Get to know, guys. All right, let's uh, try this again. <laughs> Hopefully it's open now. Are we open? And yeah, <laughs> let's go. I've actually never been to the train station before where I've like got here before <laughs> the underground is even open. So that's a first. So the plan obviously is to head to Texas right now. And the first thing I'm doing as I arrive is going to the rodeo to see 50 Cent. Now, the actual rodeo vlog that I want to film is going to be tomorrow in the daytime, doing the whole festivities, doing the whole fair rodeo stuff, you know. But today, obviously 50 Cent is my favorite artist. I had a troops meal last night, so I pushed my trip back a day. So I was gonna go yesterday, but I, put, I pushed the trip back by one day to be able to make it to the troops meal. Um, but I don't wanna miss 50 Cent. My flight lands at 2 p.m. So there's a high chance I actually, if it gets delayed or if I'm late through security, I can't go to see 50 Cent, but we hope, we pray. And then again, to, wait, am I actually gonna make this train? Hold on, I'm back, right, guys. There we go, Heathrow, terminal two and three and five. One minute, we good to go. Pretty early to be honest, so got a little bit of time to just chill here. I just need to book the uh, hotel, the car. I was quickly checking the car, but I don't think there's any Teslas. It's not a problem, obviously, but I just feel comfortable in my own car when I'm over there, so. Oh my god, how jokes would that have been if I felt by the way? But yeah, orange juice. Dinner. If you ever hear me say dinner and you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're from America or something, it's Bevo. Dinner. Like a, a UK TikToker, but it's stupid. Anyway, here's the weather. Pretty gloomy. Um, but yeah, we're here. The gate for Houston is always through the transit. And I always go to it, rushing, thinking I'm gonna be late. And I get there and you gotta wait ages. So I stayed in the lounge a little bit longer than I usually do this time. Watch me actually be late this time, <laughs> honestly. Made it all good, no problem. Um, I'm gonna take the mic off and take the tripod down for the flight. So if you see anything from here on out, it'll be no mic, but yeah, let's do this. See you in Houston. Hi, right, here we are. We made it. The shuttle bus for the rental car was here as I got out of the terminal. I wasn't filming anything in the terminal, obviously. Since Stansted, that time on the vlogs where I got told off for filming in the airport, I've tried to not film in the airport. You know, I'm scared now. But on the way to get the rental car, I actually lied on my application because I didn't say I was from the UK. I just used ExpressVPN to get me into America because Teslas weren't available. So we're going to see. But yeah, here now in America, obviously, Houston, uh, the home away from home, the second home, if you will. Been here a lot. Um, got some good plans for tonight and then tomorrow is the, the rodeo. I'm gonna go show you everything I can there. But uh, yeah, first goal is to try and use that Randolph charm to get me a Tesla from the rental car place because yeah, if there weren't any available, and I like using what I know, you know, I like using Tesla. Everything plugs in the same way. Uh, my phone connects all nicely. It's just what I'm used to, you know, that's what I drive at home. If not, we'll get something cool, we'll get something new. But I don't think I'll get like a different electric car maybe if it's not Tesla because I can't be bothered to go and find non superchargers. I'd rather just put gas in. That's what I say in America, right? Gas. But anyway, we're here. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys posted. We'll film a lot of stuff in Texas. The vlogs will be popping these next few days. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification bell on. And also, by the way, if you don't want to watch the vlogs just yet, just drop into them. Leave a like, leave a comment. It helps everything, it helps grow. And then come back to it later, you know? But yeah, the non side men, the non big star care side ones, like if you guys can still come in and show your love, I would appreciate that at least because I don't know. But anyway, on with the trip, let's go. It didn't work, the Randolph Charm did not work. There's no Tesla's in stock. I'm gonna try again, we'll see. But I got, a, I got a petrol car, guys, can you believe it? Oh my goodness me. Okay, it didn't work again, but I'm here. I can pick any SUV in five star. So I'm in five star now. What is an SUV? Oh my goodness. 
but I don't like any of these. Do I go this one? Mitsubishi, Outlander Sport. Seems pretty cool, right? Should I go this one? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I got out of the car. I don't want that one. I'm gonna try my Randolph Charm one more time. I'm gonna ask them if I can just take one and I'll go and charge it, you know what I'm saying? Let's see. But if not, what do I get? Nissan is better, maybe? I need USB-C, that's the problem. I kind of need USB-C for my cameras and my phone and everything else. God damn, this Randolph Charm ain't working. That's three times now, it didn't work. God damn, I need USB-C, man. Okay, Nissan. Let's check Nissan. Okay, new whip. I'm in a new whip. This is a, a Nissan Rogue, and it's got two USB-C. Let's go, never give up, guys. Never back down, never what? I'll give you a tour, car tour in a little bit, but uh, my voice is finished. But Man, I want the, I want the Tezzy, man. What is this? What is, uh, uh. Would you like to use Apple CarPlay? Yes. Do it to me. Oh, allow. On my phone. Yes. Oh my goodness me, thank goodness. That might have saved my whole trip. It might have saved the whole trip. I need my maps. I need my maps, man. Okay, that's actually really annoying. I can't do Apple CarPlay if my phone's not plugged into the wire. But if my phone's plugged into the wire, it means you can't hear me on the mic, you know, because this uses the mic. So that's, that's that. But anyway, guys, I actually need to get going. So tonight is the 50 Cent Show. So if I haven't introduced that enough, tonight is the 50 Cent Show at the Houston Rodeo in Texas. I feel like this, for me, is like a bucket list thing. I love 50 Cent, as you guys know. One of my favorite artists, probably the favorite artist of mine in the whole damn wide world. He's the reason I started rapping. He's my inspiration at an early age, obviously. I have many inspirations for my music, but he was the first one when I was growing up. Love him, my favorite artist for sure. And I'm getting to see him at the Houston Rodeo in Texas, which is, I think he lives here as well. Pretty sure he lives in Houston. Tick off the dream bucket list thingy for me. Like, I'm not saying that it was on my bucket list, but I'm saying it is a bucket list moment. Like, if I knew this was gonna happen, I would put it on there for sure, you know? Um, so we're gonna go have fun, we're gonna live life. Tomorrow's vlog is gonna be me doing the actual Houston rodeo properly. So going to the actual, like, fair, going to the actual carnival, Ask stuff, you know. Um, so make sure you do come back tomorrow. Make sure you don't miss tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow's vlog, you gotta click it. You see it? Click it. Go in there, like it, comment on it, and support that one because we're gonna hopefully get the algorithm to cook that one. That's why I came to this whole trip. Can't use CarPlay with like my phone like this, but I'll just have to go micless for a little bit if I film for you guys, which I'm sure is fine. 50 minute drive. It's gonna take us to five o'clock. I actually need to go. I need to go. My hotel is right next to the uh, the stadium where the, the 50, where the 50 Cent Show is. Also, I'm actually meeting up with some friends tonight in Houston. I'll show you that, those guys. Uh, you've probably seen uh, one of them, I think, before on one of the football videos I did on the main channel, okay? She's called Jackie. So I'll introduce you guys to her when, uh, when we meet up. But I'm still doing this trip solo. I also realized when I do a trip solo, I go on the flight for 11 hours, however long it is, and I don't say a word. So when I first like, what did I do? Oh, I was talking to the passport guy as you come in, like, why are you here? I was like, rodeo, I just couldn't speak. I was like, I haven't spoken in like 11 hours other than saying like, thank you to the people on the plane, but, or saying what I want for my food and stuff. But I guess that's still quite minimal. Anyway, let's get on the road. I'm actually starting to regret this a little bit. Like when she, she asked me like, do you want luxury? Why did I not say yes? Ah, it's good to be back. It's good to be back in this traffic. I'm getting on pretty well with the car, to be fair. It's not bad, it's not awful, I'm enjoying it. Uh, one thing I did realize though is like, honestly, I think people sleep on Teslas in terms of the comfort of driving. They're so easy to drive, they're so comfortable. Like they will literally break when someone's braking. I forgot I had to brake. I was so used to my car just slowing down for me if someone's braking that like, I almost, I didn't rear end them, but I could have, you know. Um, but it's just so comfortable, the autopilot on, you're loving life, you know. So we'll see, but I, I, but I am here to say that I was being a big baby before and this car is, is, is good. But what I was saying before I got caught off a minute ago was that I do actually wish I went for like some sort of like luxury, like Chevrolet or Dodge, something that'd be sick, you know. I don't know why I went for the SUV, but we're here now. Uh, driving through absolute standstill traffic. Apparently here for like 18 minutes in traffic, so that's not great. But then, yeah, I didn't realize it was such a quick turnaround to go to the 50 Cent concert. So yeah, I need to actually shower, brush my teeth, freshen up from the flight. Got my Kill Tony podcast on. I'm gonna try and go to Kill Tony this trip. So I'm gonna try and just queue up. That's the goal. The goal is to just queue up and Kill Tony and see if we can get in. Yeah, oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Also, I'm in the stadium. I've been there to watch a baseball game once. Let's go, let's go. Oh, look at the wheels, by the way. Look at the wheels. Woohoo! We made it. Here we are. I'm out to the hotel right now. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a prison. It literally looks like a prison. I'm not complaining. It's just very prison like. Everyone's wearing the cowboy hats behind me. I'm so excited, man. Everyone's wearing like 50 cent clothes. Everyone's dressed up for the occasion. Uh, I need to get ready quick, so I'm gonna go do that now. But yeah, let's go. We're in Texas, baby. I I'm happy. I'm excited again. Come on, come on. Okay, I was gonna say this hotel's a little bit reeky, but it's not that bad. Maybe it is. I'm trying to be more frugal and more smart with money these days, but I don't. 
I don't know why I keep doing this. I probably should just keep booking like the, the best, you know. <laughs> oh goodness me. Oh, I don't even, okay. All right, I need to get ready. And as I said to you guys, I didn't bring any suitcase. I brought his backpack here. I haven't had my hair up, I'm gonna do it soon. But this backpack's sick, man. All my clothes for the whole week inside that. Nah, man, this hotel actually reeks. It, this, this stinks. What, what am I doing, man? I'm Big Randy. I'm a goat, man. I have companies, I have, I have multiple companies. <laughs> Why am I being like this, man? I just thought, you know, I don't wanna spend too much doing these vlogs, you know, I just wanna go and do a nice little trip. But let me tell you about this shower, right? It, it doesn't go normal temperature. It's either blistering hot, bl blazing hot, or it's freezing, okay? And you move it one little bit across and it just changes from one to the other. And then the little shampoo they give you, let me show you this, man. This is the shampoo they give you. And like, not only is it that small, it doesn't even come out. Like, I was, my okay, this hair's too much. It doesn't even come out, man. So like, the conditioner was like that. The soap was just a bar of soap, which is fine, I guess. But, okay, I promise you, on the second part of this trip, we going nice, okay, we going nice. And we're manifesting the whole year, okay. Big Randy, music, Pokemon, vlogs, podcast, main channel. <sighs> I'm nearly ready to go now, uh, I need to obviously, I didn't pack much, so this is kind of all I've brought for like going out clothes, you know, I'll give you a little spin. It's just my same like joggers. You know, but with this like top, this is all I have, but it is reversible. Like it actually is reversible as well. Gonna get my bag sorted. Like now with the camera, I'm always unsure about these places because it is obviously America, it's Texas, it's a big, like, it's like a, an event, it's like a stadium. It's like Wembley type thing, you know? Um, so power bank, I'll probably take the power bank in, why not? You know, I, I can't, Osmo, obviously it's still broken. And the worst part about it is not only is it broken, I just forgot to put the SD card in. I was gonna take that and film bits and use this mic and just ignore the sound, but I can't even take it in because I brought no SD card. But I wanna take the microphone in. I'm not gonna wear the microphone as I go in though, guys, just so you know. And I'm not gonna take the stand of the camera either. I'm gonna go in with my phone in my pocket, see what happens. Oh, and by the way, before you guys say, oh, the room looks fine. The room's okay. The actual room, the bed looks good. It's like the facilities, do you know what I'm saying? Even the toilet didn't flush. Even the sink didn't have a direction for temperature, it's just you get what you get. I was here before and I'm back again. Um, this time I was, I was at football before, now I'm here for a stupid carnival rodeo. I hear shit, it's Jackie. Hi. I'm not sure if you can hear anything I'm saying right now, but I'm gonna show it, okay? Okay, let's have a look what we're looking at. What are we seeing, what are we seeing? Oh my goodness me. Oh my God. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> That's sick, what the hell? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I left my lapel wire mic in the hotel because I thought they were going to check my bags and not let me take the camera in, but they let me take the camera and mic in, so I probably could have brought it, but it is what it is. Oh well, look at this. I actually didn't expect all this. I thought it was going to be just for the descent, I can't lie, and this is in the daytime. But I'm actually going to watch a show. Look at these guys. I'm getting food right now, look at these guys. What are they doing? I look at we're not there yet, man. We're not there yet. Wait, what are they going to do to that? They are... Are they going to kill it? No. What do you think we are? Savages? Jeez. Oh my god. I'll catch it. Oh, man. Oh. I feel kind of sad. Look at this, man. Only in America. Spiked iced tea. What the heck? I'm about it though, I'm here for it. Alright, here we go, look at this. This is mental. It's actually crazy. <laughs> look at that guy. Wait, what? Wait, what? What the hell? Okay. Yo, he jumped That's off him. and <laughs> he jumped off and grabbed the horse. Uh, cow, cow. It's not a horse, it's a cow. That's crazy. Alright, his dog was a quarterback. They jumped off the horse and grabbed the cow. 2017. He's just all rookie in the year. 31 years of age. This is his ninth season. That sign right there was to go, hey, I want you to push my spear for you. There's somebody down inside that shoe ready to push the spear. Oh, the gate opens. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, now we've got you to the corner. 150. I'll try to catch it. Oh, Jesse. 
Okay, so he's saying this is here for distraction. So if the ball goes crazy, they pop out of there and I guess save the day. I'm so confused right now. There it is. So that's not his name, right? It's a fake name, surely. <laughs> is it, by the way, is this so alien to me? And you guys watch it probably, right? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what? Yo. No. Now what? That is crazy. Yes, sir. You can show it to a That is crazy. I want you to understand how much control this team has. 78. Watch his left hand reach and get the tail of the road. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. 7.43 seconds. Wait, so what? The bull won that one or what? That bull looks like a milk cow. Oh, the bull won. 2 1. How many times have you bumped? They never score with a cowboy and pistol bull. I wish they had video cameras with your review. It's 2-2. Two, two. two cowboys, two balls. Whoa! Come on. This is crazy. I can never do this. Oh wow, he's doing bits. He's doing bits. Oh. Alright, oh, everyone's going nuts. Everyone's going nuts. That was a win, right? Oh, but it hurt us all. That changed his direction. Right? Exactly. 100% correct. Just win it. Kind of sus, you know? Kind of sus. 
Hey, it's going off here, look at this. The youngest member of the family. Galloping away. Say hello to Baby Bella. Wait, how did she will that? follow in the footsteps oh, of her great great grandmother who at one time fought in the Houston Astrodome. Wow. You know, some horses are born to run fast. Some are meant to work with That's kind of cool, you know. And there's the end of life for my life. And our privilege to make sure they are cared for with respect and so many of them. Why? Because they're a part of the Houston Astrodome Rodeo family too. Wow. And they represent the legacy and the future of Look our rodeo. What is this? Folks, crazy. you would, let's give all of our human and animal athletes a hand. Wow. Look at this, man. All this is going on. Okay, and then just over there, it sits in a couple of forms. Craziness. What on the earth is going on here? Just about to go down. It's about to get crazy out here, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it means. Thank you, Bobby T. We have 15 young men and 15 young ladies, all in 4-H and FFA, wanting to catch a cat. Patty had a few extra moments to get the scoop. What is it? I did get the scoop, and the scoop is a lot of these kids have done this before, so I'm expecting a very fast calf scramble. Let's get to know the kids, starting with number one, Tegan Thompson. This is crazy. I have no idea what's going on. Gibson, All these kids are going to go catch a call. Kylie Armstrong, and oh. Mackenzie McKee. This is a different life, I think. This is a whole different life for what we Okay, so they're going to let out the bull, the, the calf, and the kids and are going to catch them. And the Cam starter is going to drop the hat. Let us know it's time to catch one. That is the chairman of the Black Heritage Committee, Sean Murray. Okay, let's go. And Julian. Thank you, Julian, for being here as well. Now we gotta hold that high, high up in the air to signify to our scramblers that it's time to go catch one. As we swing that gate open, the Cavs will make their way through the funnel to the big box. Here they okay. come. As that <laughs> silver belly is held What's gonna high happen? in the air. What's gonna happen? When it comes down, the kids are gonna give way. What's it's gonna... time to go catch a cat from the <laughs> and the are off and running and the kids oh, we got are one. We got one. Wow. Anyone with one pet. Oh yeah, there's a couple already. There's a look at number five. That's Julian Cano. Oh. <laughs> Come back. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is mental. I can do this though. There's number 28. Give him chase. Jamal Hayes. Go on, go on. If you don't put it out correctly, it will slip off as you just saw the headlock. What is going on, man? Okay, look, she's got one. They don't count, it's in the box. Trying to rest. That must be heavy, you know. Trying to hold it. I don't know, I don't think she's going to do it. It's not a flaw. Toxie Quinn, bring it on in. Come on, with come on, an entire family on, you got it, you got it. Toxie's also with her friends. I can't get it now. Go, 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 go. Finally, Julian Cano, Adobe FFA, sticks with no. it. It's just a few more steps for Alexis Pacheco. No. Patty just mentioned her. Come on, Houston, let's get behind her. Woo. Go wild. She's her oh, got it, got it. Let's go. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> She's finished. Just you thought it wouldn't get even crazier. They bring out some wagons. And then after all that, the Sixth Sense goes out and performs. What a night. What a show. I'm here for it. Alright, look at this. Little kid's doing it now. Oh no. Sure, right? Oh. Oh. Alright, here's me and Abel. Can I say hello? 
<laughs> it's Abel, he's just Jackie's friend. Hello. I don't know who that is actually. I'm trying to get some drinks right now, but everything the queues are too crazy though, to be fair. Sacked it off, the queues are too long. So instead we're just gonna walk around and go back to the seat. Humble. Oh I missed it. I literally missed the whole thing. Wow. First song is gonna be what? Uh, I don't even know. In the club. Really? Nah. Nah. What up, blood? Either that or no, in the club or any man. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm in London recently. Really? Le like end of last year, November ish. Yeah. Level. They didn't mess around. Oh my god, look. It's my guy. Oh my god, it's Leona Lewis. Oh my goodness me, it's the UK. I keep getting home slash finished with the vlogs and forget to film the outro and just leave you guys hanging. Like, I already got changed, took all my clothes off, you can see my socks there <laughs> in the background. Um, and I was like, wait, let me put my hoodie back on to film the outro. But yeah, guys, what an absolutely sick day. This is why I love America and Texas specifically because they just do things so big, man. Like, you saw that. Like, I didn't even get to see all the festivities. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go back to the carnival. Uh, but how crazy is that? Like, you're there in an arena watching like people take down bulls, oh, sorry, take down cows, then ride bulls, ride horses, and then it goes into 50 Cent. Then he brings out, like, I, I was surprised that he did such a long show. I mean, I, I went to the show obviously with the Troop Boys uh, in like November, I think it was, August, November last year in the UK, London, O2 Arena, and this was like, it wasn't as long as that because he went crazy long in the London show, but it was as epic still for sure. Um, he brought out Flo Rida, he brought out the baby, he obviously Jeremiah, which he brought out in the London show as well. But that's just, and then they got the whole carnival thing, which we're going to see tomorrow. Um, but it doesn't open until like afternoon, so I think tomorrow. So also the person I was with there, you saw Jackie. Um, I was with Jackie and then Abel, who's her like her boyfriend. You know, um, he's the guy who I went to get drinks with. But her kid tomorrow is like a baseball game, his first baseball game, and I, I used to stay. So when I was here at some time last year, I used to stay at their place a little bit. I used to obviously hang out with Jackie's son, and he's got his first baseball game tomorrow. So I might go and surprise him, or well, not surprise, but go and say hello and, and see him there because the carnival's not on until like two p.m. So wake up. Go get some Starbucks or something on the way, uh, then go see the game and maybe do, uh, and then figure it out from there. But I've got a list of videos I want to film as well for the vlog. I want to film like, obviously British guy. M my conflict right now is that this video today, I actually got more rodeo than I thought. I thought it was just going to be a 50 cent show. I didn't think it was going to be the whole like actual bull, horse and cow stuff beforehand. So I'm not sure whether to call this one British guy um, does Texas rodeo for the first time or call tomorrow's one. Cause technically tomorrow I won't be seeing the rodeo, but I'll be seeing the carnival. I'll figure it out. I'll have a look at the itinerary and see what I can uh, get up to. But 
ultimately right now time to go to bed and uh, i just love doing things man like just getting up and going and doing stuff is just cool isn't it uh and I'm, and I'm very lucky to be able to be in this position to do this kind of stuff but at the same time like i'm enjoying making the content you know i wouldn't do this without the content so yeah i'm happy and grateful for you guys where i can just kind of like go and jet set off somewhere and then make it a little vlog for you guys you know and uh an authentic style of vlog as well you know time to rest right now i haven't slept in so long i only got two hours sleep the night after the darts video with the boys uh, and then obviously i flew i got to, went to the airport to fly on the plane didn't really sleep on the plane much but yeah good night all take care love you all and let's do this again tomorrow peace